Welcome everyone, I'm back and I'm here to show you a few more tricks with Oracle SQL Developer. Now, there was some chatter yesterday around YouTube videos and how folks hate getting through all of the junk up front. Just, you know, show me the tips. So I'm going to go straight to the tips and I'm going to keep this under 10 minutes, I promise. So uh, I wanted to go over just a few things when you're working with Peel SQL that I'm betting um, you're not familiar with. And I think these could be huge um, productivity gains for you. So let's jump into it. Now, I'm not in a SQL worksheet where you can do PL SQL stuff. I'm actually in an existing stored procedure. Now, this could be in a file, but I've browsed to this directly uh, in the database. And I just have a stored procedure. And I don't want you to concentrate too much on what my code is doing. Uh, because it's not very smart code, but it, it's just a few things in here to demonstrate what I want to show to you. The first thing I want to show to you is navigating objects in the code. Now, I've spent a lot of time recently on how to um, drill into uh, objects. So I've got a uh, query in here that's calling data from this object and using the mouse control, mouse hover, click. I had it open the employees table. So I'm going to assume most of you do know about that, but what you might not know is that you can do the same thing um, with local objects in the code block itself. So I have three variables here, x, y, and z. I can do that mouse hover click thing on y, and it takes me to the declaration of y in the code. And I can do that again with x and it's up there. Now if I were to just double click X or double click Y, that does a whole um, editor buffer search and it highlights all the occurrences. But this is, you know, help me find out where I've declared X and it, it'll jump me up there. So that's useful. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is testing queries. So I have two queries in here and I'm in PL SQL. So of course I have to query um, the results into uh, an object. In this case, I have that X and Y value. I might want to know if this query is going to work before I go to compile it. So if I right click on the query, I can say test query. It's executed the query for me uh, without putting it into the local uh, object X. It's just ran select count star from employees, and I can click on query results and actually see the results here. And I can also see the plan here, which is nice. So I can see right away if there's going to be an issue. If I want to be ultimately executing this on another database, I can switch my connection here and, and do that. I have another query here uh, where I am got a predicate based on X, which isn't going to be declared yet. So I can also select just the part of the query that I want to test. Test query. And you can see it's not testing the entire query, just what I had selected there. And I can also see the output. So I think I'm happy with that. The third thing I want to show you very quickly is another way to navigate your code. So if you right click, you can say code outline which will give me this panel. And I can see how the parser sees uh, the PL SQL. Now this isn't the Oracle Database's parser, this is the parser that SQL Developer has. And I can see a few things in here. I can see the declaration list of items, so X, Y, and Z. And as I click on these items in the tree, those things highlight. I can also see the sequence of uh, SQL statements that are in the code, and I can drill into those. I can also expand these and see what all's in here, and it gets pretty in-depth crazy. So I could go straight to the where clause predicate. And you saw what happened there when I clicked that hyperlink text. It actually takes me to the Oracle documentation set uh, on where the where clause predicate is defined, which I think is whiz-bang. This might be overkill for some of this stuff, but for navigating your code, it could be quite useful. There is a simpler version um, of the code outline. Uh, it's not going to be too useful for standalone stored procedures, 
but if I were to open up a package, you might find some use. So in a package, here's what the simple mode looks like. I have just the um, declared variables and, uh, op and uh, code object declarations. Um, now the nice thing with the simple um, navigator is it actually updates the tree as I click to. Uh, I'm going to go back to my demo one and switch this back to the advanced. So this um, code outline I, I think is is really nice. And when you start to see um, the squiggles, like if there's a, a syntax error in here, you can see right where it's getting messed up or you know upset. Like it couldn't get past Y, and that's because it's not expecting this. Uh, keyword begin, which I can fix immediately by doing that. So uh, really quickly, I've got encode navigation. I've got test query. I don't have to highlight the SQL, uh, but I can if I want to. And I've got the code outline. That's it. Thanks, everyone. Uh, happy SQL diving.